that we're focusing on this evening on the state of small and medium enterprises. For the critical role they play and input in the economy of the country, the government, and we heard the president last week say that he could not read his speech because he felt, after listening uh, to the plight of these traders, the stakeholders, that a lot was yet to be done. But let's get perspective of what really um, is going on. And I have with me in studio tonight on my immediate right, Victor Oteno. He's a managing director of VIFA Consult, but has also written uh, widely um, on issues of SMEs. So quite um, the expert, if I may say so, to be able to break it down for us. We also have Anyo Kabi. She's the organizing secretary of Nairobi Importers and Small Traders Association. Thank you for being with us. And Johnson Sakaja, who is the Nairobi senator, also with us here tonight. Thank you all. Okay. And I'll begin with you, Victor, to paint for us a picture. We saw that meeting between the president and the stakeholders. And, of course, first we heard from the various stakeholders, and it was one cry after another and issues plaguing um, these uh, enterprises. In your view, what's the state of SMEs in Kenya? Um, thank you very much, Sophie. Um, what we failed as a long time is we appreciate the progress that is happening in the SME. Mm -hmm. There's a um, philosophy that says that what does not get measured does not get done. Mm -hmm. So what we've done is for a long time we've not been able to measure and just uh, roll up our sleeves and see what exactly is happening in the SME sector. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, uh, the president rightly put it in the, in the sense that it's uh, been ignored to some to some degree. Yeah. Yes. And so, yet, yeah. like, I, I'll give you an example. Last year, we did an index called an SME index that was trying to find out um, the performance of SMEs against these pain points. So, what am I talking about? Pain points. We are talking about access to finance, uh, access to markets, uh, management training, mm -hmm. um, and supportive government policy. And we just we were just asking SMEs, um, how can you rate some of these um, issues? And it was a, it was not a, a very pretty picture, yeah. I, must, I must say. Right. Yeah. And Yokabi, you're the wearer of the shoe. You feel where it pinches. Yeah. Talk to us also in the same breath. What is going on with SMEs in Kenya? What is going on? It's uh, only that uh, we don't understand the government what they want, neither they don't understand our sector. Mm. It is as simple as that. And uh, if I may start, if I, you may allow me to start uh, where it all started. Because uh, it's about this crazy thing of uh, destroying uh, goods in, in the port of Mombasa, holding goods in port of Mombasa. I mean, where did this all story started? Mm. Or where did our problem started? Mm. Uh, it started on 2017, whereby, as we operate on something we call a lot about, whereby we have some things, we have um, some product that we are already selling at the shop. Mm -hmm. We have some other things which are uh, living in the port of Mombasa, another one at the high seas, another one being produced. So the cycle must continue because uh, we are not able to to, to road a full f uh, foot foot container. Right. Uh, we, 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 we consolidate uh, one container, you'll find that it got allowed around uh, 30 people, mm -hmm. that business people. So when uh, the elections, uh, when it was during the elections, that is where the problem came in because uh, there was a lot of demonstration going on in Nairobi and uh, we, our people kept on uh, closing down the shops because of the, uh, of the demonstration. Mm -hmm. So it's really affected our, our sales, whereby even the, 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 the goods which are living in Mombasa, that is, um, and uh, the clearing agent will call you and uh, you, to clear the goods, of course, they want money to clear the goods, mm -hmm. to pay for the duty. The money was not available. So the other one, again, I remember there's another one uh, at the high seas which is coming over. Right. Then uh, it's again uh, at the port of Mombasa again. Remember there's another one being roaded. So that was at that particular time. Is yeah. it a stand outstanding issue now in terms of clearance of goods? No, no, no. Uh, uh, Sophia, if you yeah. may allow me to, to prepare you to, to see where our problem started, right? Okay. So. After all that said and done, mm -hmm. uh, that, that is what made us again to go to the street of Nairobi mm -hmm. on 4th of uh, June, if you may remember. Yes. Demonstrating that our goods are not being released in the port mm -hmm. 
because of uh, uh, the, the, the duties were, the, the, the demarriages were so high. We demanded, an, uh, demanded for an amnesty, okay. and which was granted. But later on, be, before we know it again, the, this issue of the uh, counterfeit came in. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is where we, we were in between the, 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 the hard and the rock. Yes. I mean, and, 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 and the, the rock and the hard place. Yes. Yes. W whatever. Let, let me bring in that. Uh, you, you've commented on you've even met uh, in different so, oh, city. What, what's going on? Thanks, um, <clears throat> Sophia. I, th I think there the, are the a number of issues um, that, that really need to be addressed. Mm. Some of them are systemic issues, and some of them are operational issues. Um, number one, uh, from what you're hearing and saying, that is one section yes. of, of SMEs um, amongst many. And, and the section of SMEs are those who are importers and small traders mm. who've really felt um, ignored um, by, by the agencies involved, by government. They feel that uh, they're not at the table. Mm. And as I always say, if you're not on the table, you're on the menu. <laughs> so they feel that they're these bigger players, yes. um, whether it is your, you know, your big, the big boys you know, in, 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 um, in industry who get access to government, mm -hmm. who are able to speak to the president and everybody, and, and they right. never get listened to. And that is why when the issue came up, um, I listened to them, I joined them. Mm -hmm. We went through with the uh, ministry, and even got the president's chief of staff to come to Nyamakima yes. to listen to the particular specific issues they're dealing with, which are important and they're still on course in dealing with them. But overall, the systemic issues are, are such that the government has not been able to appreciate. I think that's probably why the president did not read his speech. Mm. Has not been able to appreciate the contribution of SMEs into this economy. Number one, ninety-eight percent of all businesses in Kenya are SMEs. Mm. You understand? So when you only um, you know, you, you claim to, uh, to, to, to an open you know, economic space that you want to grow yes. this country uh, really fails when the only people you listen to are the 2% mm -hmm. and you forget the 98%. Um, they have had issues of, 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 of ease of doing business. Um, and we're talking about traders, we're talking about kiosk owners, we're talking about, uh, you know, you have a salon, mm -hmm. you have a kinyozi somewhere, you have a, you know, a food vending ETC. Mm -hmm. Today in Nairobi, and this, this is a matter I've really been fighting with the county government. Right. Um, Traders have so many licenses that they have to get, so many different licenses to operate. Mm -hmm. I know somebody who has close to 15 wow. licenses, you know, in the, in the um, tourism sector, but still a small and medium-sized enterprise. Yeah. And he said the first thing you must give them is information. Let them know that for you to operate this kind of a business mm -hmm. in Nairobi or in, or in this country, in any county, mm -hmm. this is what you require. Let there be a portal where you get all the information. Yes. Number two, let it be one license. Mm. All these agencies today, music corporate societies, PRSK, uh, city council, uh, everybody wants to get something off mm. of this small business person even before you sell a single item. Yeah. So let's consolidate all of those. So let, let them have information. Mm. Number two, let's ensure that they have fair access to the market. Let them have access to government procurement opportunities. And that's why I sponsored that bill in the last parliament mm. on AGPO for Young. Um, and, and, and women-owned businesses, as well as businesses owned by persons with disability. Yeah. So the, the disappointment you're seeing from the, the president yes. is that too many of his officers in government are only paying lip service to the SMEs. Mm. You know, they'll come and they'll tell him, oh, yes, sir, yes, sir. They will sit with these people, make them happy, give them tea and mandazi, and tomorrow it is business as usual. As usual. There is no country that can develop economically without focus on SMEs. SMEs. Go to any country with a thriving uh, economy, yeah. and every five, ten meters, you will see a shop. People are selling things. That's how we, we, we deal with the issue of unemployment. Correct. The biggest problem in our country today. Yeah. You know, our biggest security threat is not Al-Shabaab or Al-Qaeda mm. or you know, radicalization. Yeah. It is millions of young people who are not engaged, which is a place to engage them. Government does not create jobs create a facilitative environment For where businesses, Anne and, yeah. and, and, and people like her and, and I know her entire team from Yamakima to Kamkunji mm. to Gikomba and and, 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 and and all those people are, are operating. Finally, um, for this segment, mm. governments by Kenya, build Kenya policy is not working. And that is why, why they are forced to import things. They would love to sell whatever we produce here, yeah. but it's not competitive. When you say we are subsidizing industry, for instance, you want to subsidize manufacturers mm -hmm. and give them um, half price of uh, power from uh, 10 p.m. to 10 a.m. 
you 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 think that industry and uh, you know factories are only in the area. Right. The best furniture you'll get is is out at Gikomba. Mm. It's on Gong Road. It's people in the estates or young people in the service industry. The young guys in the IHAB, and NILAB, yeah. coming up with uh, you know innovation and and, and 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 all of this service industry. You know, find them, focus on them, subsidize them, help them. Mm. They're the guys who are going to grow the economy. Yeah. And Victor, I want to bring you in because we saw a clearly frustrated president, even with his ministers. Um, but in as far as policies are concerned, what more can be done? So he directed his CS to ensure as far as energy uh, cost of power to relook that. Um, we'll play a clip, actually. Do we have it, um, Director? Uh, one of the things that the president spoke about, uh, fish from China and the suggestion he gave on how to deal with that when it comes to the traders in the country. Please let's uh, play that clip if we have it. You think out of the box. Right? Na unaifungia. Kuna njia nyingi serikali inaweza kufanya kazi. Ndio tuhakikishe watu yetu wamefaidika jameni. If we really intend on serving our people. I don't know what you make of that and share with us if you may because some say is that where we've gotten to that goods come whatever fish and we say it's bad because we are helping the traders. Um I might not comment directly on, on, on that particular issue, but what I think uh, the, f the first point of call would be to basically map out the SME Act. Mm. Um, uh, it's been agreed that uh, the word SME is a very ambiguous term. If you go to the US, the US come to the way you define SME is quite So right. I think for, for me, um, in my opinion, is can we be able to map out and, and define for ourselves mm -hmm. who the SME are? So yes. can we be able to look at micro businesses? Can we be able to look at small businesses? Can we be able to look at medium enterprises? And uh, try to find out what kind of uh, challenges that these different sectors are facing. Yes. Then you can drill down to either uh, to importers, you can to, to look at agriculture, um, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So for me, is if we cannot be able to define what SMEs are, then it's very difficult to prescribe a solution. A solution. I'll give you an example of of the World Bank is of doing business. Okay. Um, it's, um, it's a tool that is used by the World Bank to gauge how competitive different countries are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, they they are you know they are all intricacies that are involved in that. Can we be able to develop our own? Mm. And that's why I was saying, can we be able to do an index that? Um, is able to look at SMEs and measure if they're actually growing or not. Mm -hmm. And you can have discussion with, um, with different players, asking them what are these pertinent issues that they are really facing. We are looking at maybe access to finance. Yeah. Access to market is very complex. It's not we have the we have local market. We have um, uh, export market. Can we be able to address um, um, uh, these different? SMEs where they are. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And Anna, I wonder what you make as well of that clip because you were in charge of the importers uh, association. Um, so is that how you would seek to level the playing field uh, with those that are bringing in their goods from outside or Chinese if you like or other business people and your products? Of course not. Uh, I, I'm, I'm not trying to outshine our own president but I don't think that's the way to go about the whole thing. It, uh, then again, uh, we would put ourselves in, uh, into the same level that uh, the government had to pretend that our goods were substandard. <laughs> it could apply the opposite. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, looking at that is that uh, the, same, the same government which, which, which uh, told us to, to, to have the COC which were issued in China and then uh, when the goods arrived in uh, the port of Mombasa, and then here again you are saying that they are, they are counterfeit, they are substandard. I mean... Yeah. <laughs> what for you is the way is a solution, in your view? Of course, uh, there is a solution to each, uh, each and every challenge. Mm. And I believe that uh, first and foremost what our government is supposed to do is to give the civic education, is to give the, 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 the parameters which you are supposed to follow. I believe that uh, when any well, well, when um, they, they they advertise in the newspapers that uh, they they want uh, anyone to 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 construct a, 
a road or whatever, they give the parameters. Mm -hmm. All in the supply the government wants from, 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 from the business people, they give parameters which are supposed to be followed. Yeah. So is it not the same thing which should apply in our case for, for the importation? that uh, these are the parameters per item that you're supposed to follow. Mm -hmm. And our people haven't refused that. Yeah. But again, uh, you'll see that uh, there is a, there's a game which is going on between, between us, the government, and the multinationals. Because I think in this level, it's where by the multinationals have not accepted that there's a competition in Kenya mm -hmm. because they have been holding this business for a very long time. Right. That is what we feel. Okay. Someone here has tweeted and said, uh, actually your namesake, Johnson Simiu, says that uh, clip you have played, Rais Kuchezea Chini Nandionambia Traders Wafanye. This government is clueless on helping SMEs. What do you say to that? The government is all clueless. The government knows what needs to be done. And that is why you see the president's frustration. Because remember when um, His Excellency Uru Kenyatta was uh, Minister of Finance. Mm -hmm. Um, he, he started a few ambitious projects yes. and, uh, and, and that were key to sorting out issues in, in um, the, the SME sector. Mm -hmm. One of those was what we called financial inclusion for the informal sector. At that point, we had 8.3 million Kenyans who are doing some form of business, but they are not in the formal financial um, you know, system mm -hmm. such that even the benefits accruing from what they're doing are not coming to Kenyans and they're not even be, uh, able to be protected, mm -hmm. you know. Um, I think after that, uh, the program possibly fell flat on its face. Yeah. And of course, from where he sits, you know, he's, he's told, oh, this is working, we are doing this, we, are, we have included them now in their, you know, their banking. Many of them have M-Pesa accounts and they don't have uh, bank accounts. Many of them cannot get credit. Mm -hmm. And you see, I started with the issue of the, the, the facilitative environment the government has all provided mm -hmm. and that it must. And our work as legislators is to legislate and to make sure it is done. Mm -hmm. You know, I've seen someone tweeting, oh, you've done good laws but you're not implementing. Yes. There's a separation. You know, my work is not to implement, but to make sure that whoever is supposed to implement is implementing. Correct. But on top of facilitative, we don't have protective, mm. um, uh, you know, measures around the informal sector and the SMEs. Because I look at them, um, uh, you know, jointly. Yeah. And I'll give you an example. If you look at uh, what was called, um, I think, FSD, FSD program, financial sector deepening um, project that was done. Mm -hmm. The biggest issue that came out, and you don't even have to use those big names, just ask her. Right. They can't get loans. They can't get credit. Mm. Why, why can't they get credit? Our balance of debt is not proper. Such that they're crowded out of the, you know, the, the government has crowded them out mm. of the banks. We've reduced the interest rates, but they're not able to access that kind of credit. Yes. For two reasons. One, they've been crowded out. And number two, many agencies of state are not paying people. Mm. You know how long I've, I've, I've had to deal with the uh, KSEC, UNCTAD and WTO payments um, for young people. You know, and, and it's a sad situation. Some even committed suicide. Wow. So you're telling people, we've given you an opportunity to, to procure from government and then get a, a tender, look at the, the, the pending bills in our counties. Mm. You know, billions. Um, Nairobi, for instance, was, was I think almost 55 billion that have not paid people. Wow. Put in a better situation or a worse situation mm. as a business person. But no debt. Trying to start a business yes. now, you owe somebody ten million, you owe somebody five million shillings. Wow. We're okay. not protecting them who are even uh, traders and importers because we're not producing everything in this country. Yes. And number two, um, we're saying we're fighting counterfeits, but we're actually fighting our people mm -hmm. because the fight against counterfeits. I cannot go and tell Anne that this is a fake Vuvuzela. Where is the original one? You know, <laughs> and show me where you're producing yeah. one in Kenya. Mm -hmm. Or this is a fake duvet. Yeah. Government should be making sure we have the manufacture. And I'm glad it's part of Big Four. Yes. That we have the capacity to manufacture locally. She won't go to China. She'll buy it from here. Mm. But until we do so, let's just stop her from being able to earn a living by preventing her from being, from being able to bring it in. Yeah. So, 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 so for a wider view, from the facilitative, from the protective, and finally, from the promotive, you know, we must then promote mm. um, 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 the business people. We must be able to have them at the table. We must yeah. be able to listen to them. We must be able to make sure they have energy, they have uh, access to credit. It's true. Government needs to consolidate its banking interests. Mm. And I've kept saying that. Um, you, find ba uh, you, uh, you find government agencies banking in very many different banks. Yes. And the overnight lending, it is see, government ends up borrowing from government again. Consolidate. Mm -hmm. okay. You can't have accounts in uh, funny commercial banks. In different places. Then you expect Nyokavi to go and also get a loan from there. Mm -hmm. Consolidate your, your, your banking interest. Okay. Allow them to be able to thrive. Mm -hmm. Build their circles. 
and then now we we have to get to manufacturing. All we right. must make sure that she doesn't have to go to China to bring because there are many groups. There's the cos cosmetics people, mm. they have the electronics people bringing light bulbs. Why can't we produce? We're even importing matchsticks. Oh Lord! And straws. <laughs> have mercy. I wanted, I wanted yeah, to, so, yeah. Rejoined around the access to finance. Yeah, as we want us to take a quick break, okay. uh, director, perhaps just one minute for that rejoinder. It's okay. Go ahead. Uh, so I think um, why I say we need to define um, SMEs is mm. because even when we are talking about access to finance, you'd find that in Kenya the only discussion when we are talking about access to finance, we are only talking about banks. Mm. But if you look at uh, global. Is the SME sector is financed by different players. We have people who are called angel investors. We have people who are called uh, private equity, uh, venture capitalists, and, and those, those kind of mm. uh, institutions. So uh, probably, if, if you're looking at access to finance, let's look at it systemically by defining who wants what yeah. in terms of finances. Other, otherwise, banks are in business. They can't give to, let's say, for example, a startup. It's because true. it's too risky for them. For so them. can we have a wider discussion around this? Thing? Okay. I, think, I, think, I think the folly has been trying to define the sector based on turnover. Yes. And you say that uh, anybody with a turnover of 30,000 USD a year yes. is, is, is small and medium. It's, it, it, should not, it should be about the, you know, the reach of, 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 of what they're able to do, exactly. not based on turnover. Okay. Yeah. And, and the number of people you're, you're yes, able sir. to employ because right. that's our focus on job creation. Let's take a break here on Checkpoint. We thank you for staying. And I see a lot of your feedback, which I will be uh, reading some of these uh, comments when we.